Chapter on, O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you? Quran, Surah At-Tahrim, Chapter 66, Verse 1 Narrated Sa'id bin Jabir that he heard Ibn Abbas saying, If a man makes his wife unlawful for him, it does not mean that she is divorced. He added, Indeed, the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace be upon him, you have a good example to follow. Quran, Surah Al-Ahzab, Chapter 33, Verse 21 Footnote, regarding if a man makes his wife unlawful for him mean by saying to her, you are unlawful for me. Narrated Obad bin Omar, I heard Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her saying, the Prophet peace be upon him used to stay for a long while with Zainab bint Jash and drink honey at her house. So Hafsa and I decided that if the Prophet peace be upon him came to any one of us, she should say to him, I detect the smell of maghafir, a nasty smelling gum in you. Have you eaten maghafir? So the Prophet peace be upon him visited one of them and she said to him similarly. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Never mind, I have taken some honey at the house of Zainab bint Jash, but I shall never drink of it any more. So there was revealed, O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you, up to? If you, too, wives of Prophet peace be upon him, turn in repentance to Allah. Quran, Surah at tahrim Chapter 66, Verses 1-4 to Addressing Aisha and Hafsa, when the Prophet peace be upon him disclosed a matter in confidence to one of his wives, Hafsa, Quran, Surah at tahrim Chapter 66, Verse 3, namely his saying, But I have taken some honey. Narrated Aisha, May Allah be pleased with her, Allah's Messenger peace be upon him was fond of honey and sweet edible things and, it was his habit, that after finishing the Asr prayer, he would visit his wives and stay with one of them at that time. Once he went to Hafsa, the daughter of Omar, and stayed with her more than usual. I got jealous and asked the reason for that. I was told that a lady of her folk had given her a skin filled with honey as a present, and that she made a syrup from it and gave it to the Prophet peace be upon him to drink, and that was the reason for the delay. I said, by Allah, we will play a trick on him to prevent him from doing so. So I said to Sauda bint Zama, the Prophet peace be upon him will approach you, and when he comes near you say, have you taken maghafir, a bad-smelling gum? He will say no. Then say to him, Then what is this bad smell which I smell from you? He will say to you, Hafsa made me drink honey syrup. Then say, Perhaps the bees of that honey had sucked the juice of the tree of Al-Urfut. I shall also say the same. O oh, you, Safiya, say the same. Later, Sada said, By Allah, as soon as he, the Prophet peace be upon him, stood at the door, I was about to say to him what you had ordered me to say because I was afraid of you. So when the Prophet peace be upon him came near Sauda, she said to him, O oh Allah's Messenger, have you taken maghafir? He said, No. She said, Then what is this bad smell which I detect on you? He said, Hafsa made me drink honey syrup. She said, Perhaps its bees had sucked the juice of Al-Urfat tree. When he came to me, I also said the same. And when he went to Safiya, she also said the same. And when the Prophet peace be upon him again went to Hafsa, she said, O oh Allah's Messenger, shall I give you more of that drink? He said, I am not in need of it. Sauda said, By Allah, we deprived him of it. I said to her, Keep quiet. Footnote, Al-Urfut is the tree which produces maghafir. 